Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.49 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the mass current method to find the total power dissipated in the circuit in figure P4.49. Okay, so this is the figure and maybe let's draw the loop first. Let's name this loop here as loop I1. Okay, I1. And this loop here is I2. However, because we have this current source, we need to have a super loop. Maybe let's draw a super loop here with a green. And our super loop is this one, the green one. Okay. Oh, my drawing is bad. Okay, maybe let's draw it like that. So the green one here is super loop. Okay, maybe let's start KPL at super loop. KPL at the super loop, the green one. Okay, KPL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Okay, let's start from the 18 volt voltage source and the current is passing from negative terminal to positive so our sign will be negative so you have minus 18 and then plus we have 3 here and the only current that pass through it is i1 so i will have 3 i1 and then we add again this 9 ohm but the only current that pass through it is i2 so i will have 9 i2 and we have another voltage source and the current passing from negative terminal to positive terminal so the sign will be negative so you have minus and the value is 15 so you have 15 then plus we have 6 here so you have 6 and the only current that pass through it is i2 so you have 6 i2 and then the last one we have 2 ohm here so you have plus 2 and the only current that pass through it is i1 all of that will equal to zero. Okay, now let's do some simple algebra. Minus 18 minus 15 will be minus 33. And then 3i1 and 6, not 6, 3i1 and 2i1 will be 5. So I will have plus 5i1. And then what else? 9 plus 6 will be 15. So I will have plus 15i2. And all of that will equal to 0. And so I will have 5i1 plus 15i2 is equal to 33. Okay, I think nothing much that we can do from here. And let's have this as equation number. Okay, maybe let's do KCL here. Maybe let's do KCL at not A. And remember that this is I1, right? I1. And to the right, this is the same as I2. But this 3 ampere is going to there. So I can do KCL at not A. KCL at not A. So the motivation is we need two variables to solve two. We need two equation to solve two variables, right? So I will have, I need two variables. Two equations. So KCL at not A, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, and the current that goes in is I1 plus 3, right? So you have I1 plus 3. And the only current that goes out is I2. So you have this will equal to I2. And maybe let's manipulate this. So I will have I1 minus I2 is equal to minus 3. So this is equation number 2. Okay, we have two equations and two variables. Let's solve for I1 and I2. I think the fastest way is just use calculator, right? So let me open the calculator first. And here is my calculator. Let's set it up as equation solver, which is number 5. Okay, and two variables is number 1. And we can just plug the coefficient 5, 15, 
and then minus 33. And then we will have 1, minus 1, and then minus 3. Okay, so I will have I1 is minus 3.9. Okay, I1 is equal to minus 3.9 ampere. And then I2 is I2. I2 is minus 9, minus 0 0.9. Okay, minus 0 0.9. Okay, so this is an important value. Maybe let's put it into a square. But the question does not ask about the current, but the power, right? Okay, maybe let's find out the power here. Okay, what can we do from here? Okay, let's start by the power in the 2 ohm resistor there there is i1 right so i will have i squared multiplied by the resistance so i will have minus 3.9 squared multiplied by 2 okay and then the power by 3 ohm resistor what is 3 ohm resistor it's the same so i will have minus 3.9 9 squared multiplied by 3 and then that 9 ohm p 9 ohm we will have minus 0 0.9 squared multiplied by 9 and then the last resistance will have 6 ohm there so i will have what is it minus 0 0.9 squared multiplied by 6. This is power dissipated by resistors. Okay, maybe let's calculate one by one, right? So for this one, I will have minus 3.9 squared multiplied by 2 that will be 30.42 okay 30.42 and the unit will be what and then this one is multiplied by 3 so i'll have 45.63 what and then this one We have 0 0.9 multiplied by 9. So I'll have 7.29. 7.29. What? And then for this one, we will have. Six point eighty four point eighty six. So I'll have that. And if we get the total here, what can we get? Thirty point forty two plus forty five point sixty nine plus seven point twenty nine plus four point eighty six. So we will have 88.21. However, we still need to check the sources. So let's clean up the board first. Okay, let's check the power by the sources. Power by the sources. Let's start from the 18 volt because we know the value. There. So we will have 18 multiplied by I1. So I will have 18 multiplied by the sign does not matter. So I will have 3.9. And so we will have 18.3.9. 
we will have 70.2 okay 70.2 and then the 15 volt also known here the ac1 so we will have what's that 15 okay 15 multiplied by i2 i2 is 0 0.9 right 0 0.9 and so we will have 15 multiplied by 0 0.9 so i have 13.5 13.5 okay but then we need to find out the va here right because we don't know the voltage here so we need to find out okay okay and maybe let's set this as our ground so p here is zero but then this two and three is in series so we will have like this so i will have 18 minus p a divided by five that will equal to i1 what is i1 i1 is minus 3.9 3.9 so we will have 18 minus VA is equal to what is that minus 3.9 multiplied by 5. I will have minus 19.5 so we will have PA is 37.5 okay and now the power by that 3 ampere current source is just 37.5 multiplied by 3 and that will be 37.5 multiplied by 3 that will be 112.5 and the unit will be 1 okay and so the power supplied is we will have 70.2 plus 13.5 plus 11.2.5 so we we'll have 196 196.2 but the unit will be one okay i don't know what's wrong here but it should be balanced right maybe you should check where where i did it wrong okay and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye